Welcome back to Soulful Connections. I'd like to share a very powerful and personal idea with you based on this week's parasha, Parashas Chukas. An idea that is timeless for all people of all generations. In this week's parasha, we continue to read about the many trials and tribulations that the Jewish people face while traveling the 40 years in the desert. But one part of our history which is mentioned in this week's parasha is the passing of Aaron HaKohen, <clears throat> Aaron the high priest, Moses' brother. And it says that when Aaron passed away, he was buried on a double mountain, as opposed to a single mountain in which Moses was buried. So the question we have to ask is, what did Aaron achieve in his life that he merited to be buried on a double mountain? What was so special about him that he had this privilege as opposed to Moses, his brother? Let's have a look at who Aaron was. Aaron was called a Rodef Shalom, which means a pursuer of peace. He was passionate about pursuing peace and harmony between two people, specifically those that had had an argument or a fight or a mishap or an uncomfortability between two people. He made it his business to pursue harmony between them and reconnect them. For example, between a husband and a wife, between two friends, two colleagues, siblings and the like. When Moses, when Aaron passed away, it says that the entire nation mourned him. Every man, woman, child, an elderly member of the Jewish people mourned Aaron. He was loved by all because he made it his life mission to pursue love between each member of the nation. So because of this, Aaron was merited to be buried on a double mountain. We know additionally that a mountain, the concept of a mountain is very significant in Judaism because the Torah itself was given on a mountain, not in a valley, but on a mountain. And we know that it was given on the smallest mountain to teach us to be proud and to be confident and strong, but also to fill ourselves with humility, humility to Hashem, humility to another person. So the message here is quite clear. Aram, who pursued peace between people, was buried on a double mountain, as opposed to Moses, who was buried on a single mountain, or the Torah itself was given on a single mountain. This teaches us a very powerful lesson. The most important thing is to have peace between each other and harmony between each other, between a husband and a wife, between two friends, colleagues, our interactions in life with another person should be harmonious, positive, and healthy. And the fact that Aaron was buried on this double mountain comes to teach us the importance of not only pursuing harmonious relationships in our own lives, but also helping someone else pursue a harmonious relationship with another person, just like Aaron O'Connor did. He would go out of his way to make peace between two people, even if it wasn't convenient for him. This was his life's mission. And the message for us is clear, that we too should invest a little bit more time and effort into pursuing peace and harmony between two people. And within our own relationships, we should also ensure that our interactions and our relationships are ones of harmony, love, peace, and respect. I want to wish you a good week and I'll see you next time.